Kick. Uh -huh. Try your hands. Okay, change, change. Come this way. Shorten your rings. Mm -hmm. Then you kick your horse. Kick horse, Yago. Yeah, kick to the track. Make sure your reins are even. Come on. Okay, and then kick your horse. Is she a dog or a deer? Talk to do it, I guess. When I saw you, I was angry at you, Chili. Oh my gosh. Okay, then, we go. Kick your horse, kick your horse. And then quick one. Don't go closer. Up and down. Keep creaking. All the way around. All the way around. Keep creaking. Throw your hands. Yo, it's my birthday! <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm just so happy. Like, I'm, I'm so happy. Usually, I'm not <laughs> very enthused about my birthday. But I feel like I'm getting more enthused each year, which is very nice. Anyway, so... <clears throat> Today my partner took me for horse riding, so I told him that I don't want like a material gift. I'd rather, I'd much more appreciate like an experience. And yeah, I, I truly appreciate this experience. I had so much fun. I also got to learn about horses and all of that, which was quite fun. A learning opportunity is always quite nice. And yeah, I'm just very grateful for this everything, for this year, turning a new age this life moving out into this house just a lot of things have happened which are also positive and as much as also things have happened that are not positive i really appreciate all everything it's it's i'm just i'm just i'm just grateful that's all that's all i'm trying to say i'm grateful anyway so usually i would spend my birthdays with my family since it's um, during the festive season, but for the first, hey, for the first, for the past three years, I've spent like half the day with my partner and then the rest of the day with my parents and my family, which is quite nice. Honestly, it's quite nice. And yeah, it's, an, it's a new dynamic that I'm also getting used to because sometimes I feel like I'm neglecting one or the other. But at the same time, honestly, I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best. I don't know why I'm feeling down that let's not do that but yeah i just wanted to come on here and say something because documenting my life has been fun so even though i'm not like necessarily actively posting this video will go up at some point in time wow i'm just so happy like i'm just so grateful for life and for the longest time <laughs> anyway i don't want to get sad let me just say i've just been praying to want to live i know and yeah but <laughs> anyway, before I get all emotional and shit, let me just go. I want to go home now and spend time with my family and maybe eat some cake and make merry because it's Merry Christmas and Happy New Year and Happy Holidays and Happy Birthday to you, Glow.
can't wait to see what more you will do this year and you know yeah super proud of you super proud of you hello i know i said i wouldn't be vlogging but here's the thing i also want to watch these videos so i'm gonna make them for me yeah <laughs> i don't even know why i said that but it just felt like i'll be missing out if i don't vlog this hey vlog vlog this because to be honest i usually watch my videos back you know like when i get bored i go and watch them and see what i was doing when i wasn't bored and then i get entertained so anyway basically i want to vlog this so that at some point in time i can watch back at this but yeah so we're going for sorry we're going for Kilifi New Year again at Beneath the Baobabs and this time I feel like we're almost 10 people and I'm like wow <laughs> I'm going for like a group trip with my friends that's so wild like glow look at us <laughs> anyway so I want to park I've just come back from home it's been really nice being at home being with family and all that I'm truly grateful for such experiences and yeah so Anyway, I was about to get emotional. <laughs> anyway, so I just want to pack, that's it. And since it's going to be a warm place, I'm going to carry every single bralette I have. And then I also want to make one or two more bikini tops. I started them, but I haven't finished them, so I just want to finish them. And yeah, I'm so excited. So let's pack. <laughs> so excited. Also, as you can see, my partner took us to get our nails done and our toes done so you definitely know I have a new personality and you're gonna be seeing these hands more often like I'm even gonna do a lot more crocheting just so that you can look at my fingernails wow so this is what it feels like to get your nails done because <laughs> why do I have a whole new personality like what's that about it's like when also I got my hair done I guess it comes the territory but anyway before i rumble about things that are unfamiliar to me first task of having these nails i've had nails once before but i didn't have them for long so i don't think i got the hang of them this is so high it makes me look so short and i am 5'10 anyway first task is to try and put contacts on because i don't know so well at least i can take it out of the container so i'm not completely a lost cause but anyway come on <laughs> usually when i'm putting them on i just try to stare at them so <laughs> I'm not completely a lost cause. False alarm. I'm also putting this on on camera because sometimes people think they're my real eyes and I feel bad when I disappoint them. You know? Yeah, no one just looks this. This good naturally. Sometimes you have to enhance them. Anyway, please. I'm joking. <laughs> Let me fold and pack. put them in different shades of green because I just love green that much. I would have loved if this was like a darker green but this is what they had so yeah that's what we're working with. So this is everything I need. Um, one day I'm going to get those packing bags, but until then, these will do. So <laughs> I feel like I've left something because packing for a coastal trip versus a mountain trip, so different because when you go to the mountains, you know how big those jackets are. But when you're going for a coastal trip, you're barely wearing any clothes. But anyway, so this is everything. I'm going to put this as well as my sleeping bag and our air mattress into a big bag and yeah i'm pretty sure everything will fit and yeah 
that's it <laughs> that's the packing i've also showered and gotten ready so it's a bit later on so yeah also carried some snacks i carried some mangoes and water and i have some other fruits i don't know i feel like fruits are fun to eat <laughs> anyway yeah before i ramble on let me know just put them in a big bag and i'll be ready to go so excited for this trip like i just need to unwind and this <laughs> this is perfect Very <laughs> It's about 6 a.m. At 6 a.m. That's a lie. Okay, yeah, it's almost 6 a.m. We got here at about 5 a.m. And now we're just settling in. And wow, I'm just very grateful for such an experience. You know, <laughs> like this is the life I get to live. <laughs> Anyway, before I start getting emotional, so then say hi and check in and be like, guys, I'm in Kilifi and I'm gonna be here up until New Year's. So that's really nice. So glad about that. Yeah. <laughs> Beneath the baobabs, lol. Look at all those mabuyus. What do I call them? Yeah, they're called mabuyus. Mabuyus. Mbuyu is a tree. Look at the fruits. I never used to know that this is where mabuyus come from. I just never pictured where they'd come from. But this is them. So cool. <laughs> I'm so fascinated by plants, Yani. Like you could just find me looking around at plants and just taking it all in. I woke up not too long ago. To let go oh, before I go, taking in my stride. If you show me yours, then maybe I'll show you mine. It is to the stream. I see it so absurd. I'm not contemplating, waiting to waste my words. With all of emotion to swing. So I think you saw earlier I was crocheting something. I'm making like a bikini top because every time I buy a swimsuit it fits my like the the, lol, the fingers. It fits the the bottoms fit but the top always has so much space, you know. Itty bitty titty committee. So yeah, this is how far I've gone. I'm trying to figure out how I want to finish it off. I could just put straps over here so that I can tie it in the back and then also some over here. The other thing I was thinking of is, I don't know how to explain it, but to put a strap that goes all around it that can kind of move. But I'm trying to ask myself if that will work with this design. I've done it with a previous one, a yellow and brown one. I'll put a picture somewhere here. And then, yeah, I'm trying to see if I can do that. Whenever I'm crocheting, I always try and find ways to, you know, make the piece mine by just trying out different techniques. Yeah, but I've been stuck for so long. Like, I've been staring at this, trying to be like, will it work? Like, if I put the strap up until here, it'll leave this space. And then, connecting this place. Anyway, anyway, we'll see what to do. But so i finished the top i decided to just put a tie at the front and then tie at the back 
Wow, I wish I could show you better. But yeah, that's it. That's how it looks at the back. And then this is the front. Like, wow, so cute. <laughs> I guess them not having the cup sizes in my size is a blessing in disguise because no one has this. It's just me. It's mine. <laughs> anyway. Oh, can't wait to go to the beach with it. It's so cute. Wow. I'm going to make another one in like a maroon and white. Maybe in a different style because I have another swimsuit. Like legit, I didn't carry any of my swimsuit tops because I was like, I'm going to make them. Because I'm not about to start struggling with cup sizes that barely fit. But yeah, oh, so cute. I'm so happy. <laughs> wow. Akinaini in your Is it because I swam or is it because my hair has. Anyway, manifesting a coastal home. Because this is so beautiful. Yeah? <laughs> swim at the beach yesterday we just went and hung out had a moment now I actually want to go swim and yeah spend the rest of the afternoon in the beach and then come back and then tomorrow we'll meet up with our friends As I swim, let me just give you a little narration of our experience at the beach. So as we were leaving, it was around 6 p.m. or thereabout, and we saw a man in a reflector jacket telling people to come out of the water. And then blowing a whistle just to tell people, you know, get out. So my partner and I were curious, being like, huh, so we're not allowed to swim past 6 p.m. must be a thing. But here's the thing. I am an introvert and my partner is quite an extrovert. So <laughs> he went ahead to talk to the guy and was like, you know what? My social anxiety just said no this time. Let me just watch people around. So let me just tell you about my people watching experience and then I'll we'll get back to what my partner got from this guy. Anyway, so as I was just standing on the beach, there was a group of people playing with sand. Like, you know how you do snow fights, but with sand. So they were just playing and they were all having such a good time. It was such a nice experience watching all of them just having fun. So there were about three guys and two ladies and then two young kids. So one of the young kids started crying. I think maybe it's because the sand or something. So, um, one of the older girls gave the little girl a ball of sand and let me tell you, her face switched up. She was so in it. She was so determined to hit someone with that sand ball. So then she just continued playing and then, yeah, it was so beautiful to watch them just, I don't know, existing. I don't know why I found that so interesting. But yeah, it was such a beautiful thing to just witness. Okay, so now let's go to my partner's point of view. So he went to talk to this man. I would never, like I really just admired the way he just walked up to him because I would never. Anyway. <laughs> so this guy told him that he is a rescue diver for the county government. And the reason that they were having people get out of the water by 6 p.m. is one of the safety measures they implemented since they got a lot of cases of people drowning. 
so um, his shift usually ends at 6 p.m. So at 6 p.m. Yeah, at 6 p.m. he would clear out the beach just to make sure that everyone is out of the water to kind of help mitigate the cases of drowning. But unfortunately, sometimes people will still go back into the water past 6 p.m. and then he would receive calls to come and you know retrieve people who have drowned. So yeah. That's the duality of life. I was here watching people having the time of their life and my partner was being told about how this guy has to come and, you know, retrieve bodies because there's the people drowning. And yeah, I think just life is interesting in that two things can just be happening at the same time that are completely opposite. But yeah, I just thought you should know. I made this coaster set for our hosts, you know, just as like a a thank you, lol, we're even about to leave, a thank you just for hosting us, and yeah, look how cute it is, but anyway, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, reunited with our friends, finally. We head to the festival and celebrate the nights away until New Year's. Yeah. Ahead, but when I think too far ahead, I see us retired, chilling in the biggest state with a queen size bed, eating a king size breakfast made by private chefs. I mean, okay, maybe that's extra. Maybe we grow up and want less than that. Maybe I save the funds and we move somewhere fun like a lakeside flat. Cause you make time to think about that when it's more than just daydreaming. But I mean, hey. Oh, the scheme it makes sense Cause your feelings are my feelings And I got a good feeling about us Got a good feeling about us Yeah Feelings like this Feelings like this don't happen often I don't want us I want all that you offer I need to trust that you gon' be there for me When I'm down In the same way, girl, I'll stick around For you Took my chance, that moment was opportune Every moment's bliss when I talk to you Yeah, girl, you're 10, but you so much more Let's see what's in store for us You get searched at the entrance just to make sure you don't have any drinks. Glamping that way, festival this way, camping this way. Ooh, this is so, so cool. Thank you. 
this whiskey Call me a little off guard when she asked for the dance block ties with the clothes like distance And my hands are always, and she rides that bass and I'm too hey. lifted Kinda shock and I play hey, it cool hey, with the way hey. she moves so the girl too gifted I've been feeling for your aura, but the mental in my body got me season up like Bora again Here we go Day two, um, I don't know what to say, gosh, um, we're going out to eat and then we go to the beach, then we come back, yeah, that's all. <laughs> this time we're so many. Saw me for a burnout, tunnel vision, I the orbit for I ever turn around. My race and I calm myself, tell me it's okay that I don't know what I don't. They tell me I move too fast and I just might crash if the day comes that I don't. We need some time to breathe, okay? Get me the grace I need. In my head in a space that's safe, reminded it's something to be nice to me. So right, mm, it's okay. I don't mind, I'm about to 
Giving me a J I've been lost since the morning Heard him bitching and moaning I don't know what to say But mm. I got some flower for hours It dang dang Oh lady she told me it stank stank Put a perfume bag And I don't do a bad for that So give me the blicky the bick Broke it by hand and my fingers they stick now No stand me I'm pulling the sticks out Chopping and pulling the brick out Hash mood if I pass you Better inhale Grassroots and his gas tool, but again, hell. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Side, I like to hear you. I want to go to the two hundred and fifty. I like to go to the two hundred and fifty. I like to go to the two hundred and fifty. I like to go to the two Happy New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs> 